ready? Yes. So, hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Vera. From LR Time. And in today's video, we're going to review a Defender 90. A new Defender. Of course, a new Defender. <laughs> We're sitting in it right now. And uh, hopefully you like that video. No, that's my line. Enjoy okay. the video. So this is a Defender. 90 D200 with the six cylinder diesel engine and 200 horsepower. We got it from our local Land Rover dealership. Join us taking a good look at this vehicle and excuse our humor. Don't take everything so serious, it's just YouTube. <laughs> I wonder what happens with our deductible if we get into a hailstorm. But it's then like an act of God. Anything is an act of God in the Defender. <laughs> what I really like is that this car gives you an indicator on how fast you are allowed to drive here. You see it next to the check engine light. It's taller than you, you know, a little bit. So the color is somewhat inventive, just like ours. Yeah, but it's got a cool name. It's called Pangea Green. Pangea? Yeah, Pangea. Follow me. Yeah. Let's see how intuitive someone would manage to turn the fan on. It sounds like an aircraft is starting the engine. Now listen when I turn it up. It's like a DC-10 when you sit in the back. Look, it, it's even more apparent when you turn it down. Okay, folks, we've landed. The temperature outside is about 15 degrees. Welcome at the Auerbacher Schloss. Watch this reaction time. 21, 22. So almost a second. Now you got to find the Land Rover Defender. You clicked on it. Good. Yes. Look, it got like a little symbol of Vera and me here. And there's Robin and Philip. So we'll, we'll try if this works, if we can call my phone. So this was intuitive, a hundred points. Philip Mut anrufen. Oh look, it's got, it got him here on his mountain bike. How cool is that? No, he's at home, homeschool. Homeschool. Hello. So Philip, can you hear us really, really good and clear? Yes. <laughs> Very well. And you know what? We see a picture of you here in the display. Very correct. <laughs> okay. So, okay. I think I catch a cold. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Philip, we we'll continue doing our car review. So talk to you yeah. later. So this car, you know what the maximum speed is according to the brochure? Two hundred and ten. One hundred and seventy-five. Really? That's slower than a Fiat 500 with the smallest engine. Yeah, but it's for sure because it's the highest. When you have the next size engine, which is, I think, 250 horse, it already does 195. And if you got the next size engine up, the strongest one was 300 horse, then it does 205 or 210. It's definitely five kilometers slower than our Land Rover Discovery. That one does 180 and we've done that many times. Not really. The check engine light is hiding elegantly behind the speedometer needle. See how easy it is to drive into our gate here? It doesn't roll back or anything. Listen to this. Okay, check this out and remember I'm German. Other than that, the body quality is absolutely perfect. Everything is sealed and glued. There is not a sheet metal corner anywhere. What I'm not a friend of is, see this gap here? That's like a 
Challenger. No, it's Challenger quality. This is good. And you can see here there is probably a clip here. It's a little tighter. And here it's looser again. And you wonder what happens with this piece of plastic once they get stirred inside. Okay, you want to open the engine compartment? Very good. It took now 9.2 liters on average, so at least that's good. You can't open the yeah. hood all the way. See, this looks like an end stop here. Yeah, yeah. you can probably open it further and it okay. stays open. Looking like some sensitive wiring where you can get caught up with your big wrenches. That's really not a lot of sound. Well, because the engine is quiet. Oh, okay. The one complaint we did not have is that the thing is noisy on the inside. It sure drives extremely quiet. And can you take that off? Yes, I can take that off. This one doesn't have a battery. The battery is somewhere else. Do you know where the battery is? Um, yes, I won't tell you so. Here, close it up. <laughs> I gotta catch it on that. Boom. Okay, good. Let's look in the trunk. Oh, I know where the battery is. Let's check out the trunk. It got the electronic release here. I don't like that. You don't like that? No, I like to I, have I a, like this door. a hardy handle. Did you notice that the yeah. emergency triangle is in yeah. here? And that's actually a Other good Other than that, the lid is, is a little cheesy, okay? It's flimsy. It, it's, flimsy. Um, it's a nice spot for it. What, you... what I like on the Defender are the exposed nuts. The first thing I noticed when I opened this is there is no spot for the trailer hitch, okay? The trailer hitch is in here and you would expect that this thing in a 60,000 euro vehicle, it would have a nice spot. And then the first thing everybody would think it's in here, but it is not. But there there's no room leave. for it. How do you know? It's, it would be in here if there's room for it. Oh, okay. So there is... Um, the jack in here and a really beefy tow hook yeah oh. <laughs> so we'll close this back up also this thing isn't really hinged it's just laying in here it's it's laying in here it doesn't have a hinge to it yeah so all the reviews i saw so far people made this sound like this is high quality i think it barely competes with my challenger yeah it's it's it's, it's really it's not just for a sixty thousand euro vehicle this is not good now i got a puzzle around to get it back in because it doesn't have a hinge and this is not what i would expect there it's back in mm -hmm. the hooks are the same as in the discovery i'm over here oh who cares what is this yeah that is i know what it is <laughs> i know a, what it is too. this is a kilt <laughs> okay you gotta you know because the car has some maybe some scottish roots <laughs> I, this is a kilt what else could it oh this is this is a curtain, and it goes on here. See, there is a hook over here. Put it up here, and then here, and here. See, now the car wears the kilt. It suits me better, so. Put the trailer hitch back inside, which doesn't have a spot to go. Let's take the kilt back out. Remember, I'm German, so I'm allowed to complain, okay? And you guys know I usually don't complain about Land Rovers. We're not going to complain about the trailer hitch more. No, 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 don't pull this off. I already worked on it. You're going to break it. Okay. Oh, it's a Land Rover here. after all. Yeah. Clips are going to break. I don't know what that hook. is. You can put out here. You can hang something. Because now on what I'm saying. Oh, okay. But you're so boring. So, I heard so much about this vehicle, how great the interior and the seats are. And I'm not complaining that this is now not electrical. I think nobody needs electric seats to fold down. But when I put these down, these seats, now watch this. There's a handle over here. I got to push it. And this folds down. And this is how far it folds down. This is in an angle. Again, I think the Challenger designer went over here designing this vehicle. He got a job in, in the UK because this makes this car, in my opinion, an overlander no-go. Unless you want to lay down in a lawn chair. You have that aluminum this is terrible. trim here, this which aluminum doesn't trim. move. This aluminum trim, right. Wait a second. It's Wait. Like, it's He's coming home from school. So this aluminum trim here, 
Looks like when the design department realized that the seats are too high and they were all sitting on a table, they were thinking, what are we going to do? And then one guy raised his hand and he said, let's put a really expensive aluminum profile in front of it and people won't see. I folded down these seats now and there is now no spot for these for the buckles. For the buckle strap. See, I gotta wrap this here now behind it and, and it, it don't, it don't wanna stay there behind it. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't have a way to go. So I leave it and then close this. Guys, it's back this, here. Is, this is technology out of the 70s. So if I would get now my passengers into the car, I would have to tell them, oh no, no, you gotta lay the seat flat. Get, lay the seat flat, you know, and they may be kids. And then pull this buckle out, pull it out over there and put yeah. it over it and then close it. In yeah. daily use over it's here. not. Go, go but over here. I want to show them. The seat goes forward by pulling this and then it moves forward all the way. It takes a good step, but no complaint about this, it's only a two-door. And when I raise these up now, I have to remember to get the buckles out here. Now they will stay oh, on okay. top. Okay. Yeah. So this was the engineering fix for that problem. Oh, very beefy mount. Once you know this, this is okay. So it's extremely comfortable. You yeah. have this elevated seating, the stadium seating. Really? Clearly, I'm sitting much higher than in the front. Yeah, that's and true. I got, look at my leg room. Yeah. This is incredible. So it's a very, very comfortable car. And also the seating position is nicer than in the old Discovery. Because mm -hmm. it's not as steep, it feels really, really good to sit back here. And look at this handle. Yeah, I that's really cool. I always wanted to have a handle. There are a couple of really nice aspects. Also, I got this undisturbed window here on the side, and you can look in outside. Oh, man. Why would they make such cheesy plastic pieces? Did you see this? You know, if you want to smuggle something, Smuggle? Yeah, oh, if you smuggle. want to smuggle something, there's the compartment installed right here, okay? That's where your cigarettes go and your drugs when you set over or from... Oh. You take the uh, what is navigation that? system and all the other useless electronics crap out and then you can fit in here what I would say about 7-8 kilo of... Co it's all serial condition installed. Oh, I expected yeah. there to be the battery. And, and it is like a high quality... It's like a high quality lid, I gotta yeah. say. Yeah. Is that on the other side too? Um, let me check. I Somewhere the battery has yeah, to come be. Back in here. Yeah. Yeah, there's there is another smuggle compartment here. And look oh this is a sweet touch. Oh what? Jesus. Okay, let's yeah, see. So you can host down that car. Okay. That's where the battery is. That's where is. the battery is. That's like so you know, they occupied the smuggling compartment with a battery. <laughs> and there's so much what room the? in the engine compartment. Yes. Yeah. It feels very precise and high oh, quality. Look, there was a child in here eating. That's I've like a little guitar. Haribo guitar. Yeah. We'll throw that under my channel. Yeah. Okay. At least they have Let's the cup holders see. with a. Give me the camera. You can do this with it. Okay. I have my own agenda. I want to look too, you know. Pull I that seat back on the side. There you go. Okay. Look how much room you got. No. And don't you feel like you have stadium seating? The thing is, I never sit in the back, so I don't even know the stadium seating in the Discovery. Look at my legs. I mean, this is almost S-class. I mean, you can take this thing and go with four people on a on a road trip and drive 16 hours. There's just so much room no, in this. No, you can't go 16 hours. Why not? Because then you need to take clothes and luggage with you. Not if you stay in a hotel and you know you wear their bathing robe. You could put something no, you on the can roof. Put, yeah, you could put something okay, on the roof. Okay, let's stop debating. You do <laughs> sit back here very, very yeah. comfortably. You got your own little speaker here. I'll show you my you got speaker. Two. You got a 12 volt here, 12 volt here, and two USB ports. This is really good. But Christian, okay. the USB port looks different from what... This is a USB 3. Yeah, but we don't have a cable fitting in there. Yes, of course we do. Really? Yes, you even have a battery charger already for USB 3. Now everybody knows that we are still USB 2 people. So can you use this also? Can you fold it up? Oh, oh. yeah, look at that. You, this is this is Discovery 3 style. You can put your McDonald's french fries right here. 
found something else. <laughs> From a kid. Yeah. And now look when I fold this forward, I got a fold. Sure. You can see here again in what angle it remains. Yeah. I mean you can't even put bikes in no. here. No, like you're wasting like one third of the cargo capacity. It's like a sky view window. It's yeah. when you drive through New York City. You can oh. watch up the skyscrapers. How would you do that without these windows? Your jacket in here. I don't oh. think this is a jacket hood. I think this is a design error. Oh. This could be a jacket hook here. Is that a sturdy handle? Yeah. Doesn't it feel like you could go driving with Kevin Williams? I would need another one here. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, let's take care of the front now. Okay, put the camera gear back in. You want to wear the kilt? No. It, it is the prettiest car around, no matter how yeah. no matter how many complaints we have. Look at this beefy hinge. This looks like Robin forged it. Look oh, because it got the spare wheel on it. That's why it needs a beefy hinge. You stay in there. Yeah. And the design of it, like all the other reviews you guys already saw, the design is just so beautiful. Okay, now sit comfortably. Yeah, I want to Google this seat. Maybe we miss you want, something. You think you think miss something. It, it, it's so unbelievable that you have to Google it. Yeah. Look how much room she's got. Yeah. Look at that main point. That's coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we picked a good day for reviewing the car. Okay, don't interrupt my complicated explanation now. Look at the seat. It's basically manual because manual means it has nearly no wires. That's a good thing in a Land Rover. So if you pull this forward, let's say this is my driving position now and I got it all adjusted for me. Okay, if I now fold the seat forward, look, it goes forward even further so I can get in there. When I pull the seat now back, I move it here. It actually has like a memory function. It remembered where it was, even though it's all mechanical. I'm a big fan of that. And I fold this back where it was, and my seat is actually exactly where I had it adjusted to. Here is my incline. Well, you can look through here. You can look through there? Yeah, I don't know if that's what, oh. Oh, yes. wow. You know, you can maybe put your toe strap around it. It is the most beautiful car. Yes, it is. Oh man, it got another smuggling compartment right here. It says Defender on the hood instead of Land Rover. Yeah. This is certainly the only car I ever saw which has sort of a painted firewall cover here. And look how high the dash is above the hood. This is where the hood is. And see that your windshield is black up to here. This got to be like four inches of distance, which gives you an incredible view from the inside. Oh, here's the camera. There's the camera. Look yeah. at this. It doesn't have the air suspension option. It's all coil spring. I don't see a coil. See, what is this oh, there? Yeah. Okay. It's and a coil. Is this is the knuckle gizmo thing. And that? The upper wishbone bracket. What? It looks different. It's aluminum, so this looks this looks nicely done. It's this material feels like some recycling material out of your like old carpet. Uh, no, yeah, it's like carpet. And the uh, steel rims. I don't oh, like look at this because it's loose. This is loose. Yeah. Now not anymore. Yeah, but I fixed you're it. gonna lose. I gonna send them a bill. <laughs> I do like the steel rims. I've never seen that one. <laughs> this is where you pee in, and this is where your diesel goes. <laughs> Yeah. Why do, don't we have AdBlue? Because have... our car was built before AdBlue was invented. What I Ad... looked underneath, I did a review without you underneath. Oh. Wow, this thing is really quiet. Let's check it out under body protection. So there's really nothing we can see here. I wonder where the drive shaft is, if there is a muffler in the middle. So the drive shaft is all the way above, in there. What the hell is this? Anybody knows? Write me in the comment what this little spike poking down on the rim is. It bothers me that we can't look inside, but that's a nice touch. It says Defender right here. Looks beefy. This sure looks like high quality. Odd looking thing here is the drive shaft. We got 
a drive shaft in it. We are now in the rear of the vehicle and we see some technology. I mean, these wishbone brackets look amazing. Beefy coil springs. I don't like the differential. See how this is a setup where you can't open the rear cover and reset the pinion distance. So this will be a nightmare in 10 years. So this, this is going to be a typical Land Rover. Oh yeah, you need a new one. Look at this joint from the drive shaft. Have you ever seen a drive shaft which is fixed with a nut? And if this is the nut and it belongs to the drive shaft, that means there is a spline sticking in from the differential into this joint. And then the nut holds on the drive shaft. But what I don't like on this setup, it's absolutely non-standard. The only time I've seen a nut like this on a vehicle is in a, in a BMW Mini. And this thing is your future electrical problem. It's like right out here in the elements. Okay, and it doesn't help that this is looking like somebody wrapped his chewing gum paper around it. Don't you expect your customers to look underneath the vehicle? And then there is some sort of a module on here. Maybe this is a control motor for the sound somehow so it can open and close some sort of a lid like inside a challenger oh yes it is look there's the pivot point for that lid and i wonder who makes this adventech must be the lowest bidder see there is a jaguar logo on here so that adds some quality into it this gotta be the most expensive bracket to hold an exhaust muffler cast aluminum it looks high quality, that's for sure. And then, you know, it got to be a healthy car because it doesn't have one oxygen sensor. It has two. The overall manufacturing quality is high, I got to say. Okay, I got these points here to mount stuff. Oh, you made it. Yeah, of course. Good. What no? about that shark fin, fin antenna? This is something you have today. What, you're opening now again? Yeah, but I want to see if it has a breezer too. You want to see if it has a breezer? Let's see if you can find the breezer too. <laughs> We're looking for the breezer tube. So Vera That's is all happy if the differential has a breezer tube. That's her buying criteria. Yeah. Does Look. it have a front differential? Yes, okay, of course it has a front. Question. No, it's not a stupid I question. It's a four-wheel drive yeah. and it's a longitudinally installed engine and it has a front differential and a real transfer case and two drive oh where you go oh she's gone oh she got herself a, a step yeah I you want me to get you some wrenches some spanners i don't think the dealership has a problem if we, oh boy if we open this here for a second so, so what is all this i don't know if you don't know you guys let us know look Fuel at the pump. size of this thing this is like challenger size yeah what is that is it if like the, the intake there's a lot of stuff in here i wouldn't know what it is yeah really i it's... know what this is it's oil inside okay it's looking good i got no belt buckle okay so when i'm rubbing along this chassis here i'm not yeah. scratching anything we still haven't found the breeze at all this is the air conditioning filling Oh. So that's what we use on Fabian's car almost every second day. So here you can unhook the battery. You don't always have to go inside and... Um, huh? Uh, You're an electrician. You should know that immediately. Well, this is where you put your jumper cable. It's right here. Exactly. See, there's an extra pole. And it's even a nice pole. We skip the breather tube search and we go now. I wonder if we unplug this. No, don't do that. Mm. I mean, it, it doesn't have any air suspension, though so there are not going to be any three amigos or something like that. Or any. Well, it doesn't have any three amigos for the air suspension, but the I'm sure it has I mean. enough other three amigos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's all right. And but one it's... of the three amigos is already on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I film you from over here, you look like Sarah and tuned. No, now step down. Yeah, she's really tall. <laughs> yeah. No, leave that in there. Yeah. The dealership should. guy is gonna watch the video and <laughs> you know we want to treat it good. I wonder who made that mess there. It looks like some critter was crawling around on yeah. it, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, it has an itchy. I mean, it, ha how it nice has that. This goes yeah. on. And you don't have to slam it. It goes. Yeah. Sweet. This is like in our kitchen. You can push the button and they pop out. Uh, what did I do now? Oh, there we go. Look how that steering wheel looks now. Okay, and now I start it. Look how they appear now. And, and then push it and go in the front. There it is in reverse. Reversing camera is like an understatement. This is like the security system from Cap Canaveral. I push the button and it goes into parking mode. I'm sure that's a cheap repair. Oh, we locked Vera out. Oh, here. There it is. Okay. It's a heavy door, isn't it? Yes. This door, don't slam it against our post. It's going to destroy our post. The cup holders are extremely nice. Yeah. So, later, later. oh, you need a handle to get in. Yes, I do. Now, what I really find questionable is like this garbage hole here. Look, this is the most intuitive spot in any other car to put something. Yeah, you have anything you put it? Oh, <gasps> shit. Ah, oh, it fell down there. I can reach in here from the side, yeah. which is which is kind of weird. It's too small for a six pack. Oh. If we figure out, we, we take everything back and give it 10 points in this spot so you okay this is beautiful Vera you made good use of that if you flip your mirror like you used to in the old days you know in the 70s and in the discovery look at this now you got actually a superimposed vision and there's a little camera symbol oh this is so beautiful <laughs> and then this here oh look you can you can move it up and down yeah. rear view screen regular mirror oh something I guess I shouldn't push this is if you need service, and this is if you got into an accident. There's a quiz for you guys, okay? Here, I show you the dash. What's wrong with this picture? You see it? The temperature is 11 degrees, and we got almost June. So I'm sure that temperature gauge is broken. The check engine light is on? Oh no, that's normal. It's a Land Rover. Otherwise, you don't feel home. So everything is good here. I like that here. I really do. You, you like that? Yeah, I really do. Yeah. Wow, well, that one goes faster than ours. Yeah, it does go <laughs> faster than ours. <laughs> I wonder how much it does if the check engine light would be off. Sprechen Sie das Land? No. Entschuldigung, wie war das nochmal? Bitte sprechen Sie das Land. Deutschland. Deutschland. Okay, good. We agree on that one. <laughs> and now? Sprechen Sie Straße, Hausnummer und Ort? Auerbacher Schloss. Entschuldigung, <laughs> das habe ich nicht verstanden. Bitte sprechen Sie Straße, Hausnummer und Ort. Bensheim. Bensheim. Sie können Ich bin fertig sagen oder sagen Sie das zu ändernde Adressfeld und dann ändern. Straße? Sprechen Sie die Straße oder sagen Sie Ich bin fertig? Um, ich bin fertig. Ich meine... I give up. The seating position is extremely comfortable. Yeah, and I can, um, I can raise my seat. I have the feeling that when you go faster, the check engine light becomes brighter. There's 160. So what's an American doing if he hits 160? He's checking for the police. What's a German doing when he hits 160? He turns on cruise control. We're going slow right now. I know. Check out this blind spot, okay? Look. You see a car anywhere? 
You don't. Now watch it. See it back there? Yeah. So here we are in our good old Discovery 3 again. That's about it with our review of the Defender 90 D200. Yes. When we dropped it off, we talked to the sales manager a bit and I asked him what the lead time is right now, you know? I mean, it probably got a lot of computer chips in it. And he said, oh, just about seven months. So I didn't feel too bad that I didn't sign the contract right away for it. But we will think about it and most likely buy another Discovery 3. Or 4. Gives us something to do. But boy, is this a nice car. I wonder what they are like in a couple of years and how much they cost and what kind of issues they're going to develop. Yep, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do like it, check out our other videos, give it a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe, and in any case, don't unsubscribe. See you next Sunday. Bye. <laughs>